Hello, the secret of foundation depth will be revealed to you in this video using this software, Tecla Stuttera Designer. You are very welcome to this video. And if this is your first time watching video on our channel, subscribe, like the video, and we have also given you the permission to share our video with your friends on your platforms successfully. Now, let us get started. Here is the story building in Tecla Structural Designer. So, you have to also ensure that all of the structural elements that consist of this building is being designed successfully. So, if I navigate to this provision, I have Structure 3D. Right click and then I come to Review View option. You can see that all my columns and reinforced concrete beams has been designed. So if I should check the statute under the foundation, right here, I can also see that my foundation footings has also been designed successfully. Over here, I can be able to see these other combined footings have also been designed successfully, as you can see from here. All right. So at default, Tecla Structural Designer have foundation depth at one meter. For instance, if I get back to this design statute right here and I select any of these reinforced concrete column, let's for instance this one, and then right click on the keyboard, then in the drop down menu, I go to generate drawing options. So this will open this DXF export references dialog. So I click on the OK option right here, and this will automatically open AutoCAD and then give us the detailed standard detailed drawing of this particular reinforced concrete column sections i just selected as you can see from here in autocad this is what i get okay so if you zoom closely right just like this you can see that we have st base i will show you this st base shortly and then we have this reinforcement this is called the starter bar okay so where you have this st base is the natural ground level this is the natural ground level and beneath the natural ground level is the foundation depth so this foundation depth at default is one meter so if i hit on the line right here and i throw, try to do a line between the natural ground level to the depth of this particular reinforcement you can see that i'm having uh up to 900 and something 993 plus the concrete cover will give us the one meter which is the foundation depth successfully so this is the default foundation depth and as you can see how detailed this column is you can see the kicker right here you can also see the lap length for the you know starter bar successfully based on the hero code and the sections of the columns are well detailed successfully okay so now let's get back to tecla designer okay this is tecla designer how do we now go into the foundation depth setting okay but before then i will take you to the modeling tab right here let's go to the construction level so if you click on the construction level in the construction level property window you can see the base level here so this base level is the level i was showing you in autocad so this is a natural ground level in tecla structural designer the question is where is the foundation depth i'll click on the hokey options but before we really go into that let's navigate to the geotechnical report i have right here so when you, you are talking about foundation depth foundation depth is being obtained by the geotechnical engineer so a test have to be carried out at the construction site of your project okay so the soil layers will be you know checked and then from there the geotech engineer will actually determine the foundation depth and give you a report just like this so on this report in the table of content if you scroll down you can see this provisions 4.3 say foundation recommendation which is page 8 of this uh, geotechnical report so if you scroll down to that page 8 let's say this one is 2 and this is 3 pages and this is 4 pages this is 5 pages if you come down 6 and then we have seven pages here over here is the eighth page you can see that the foundation recommended for this particular project is deep foundation deep foundation okay so if you now screw down a bit you can now see the depth of the foundation and the type of the foundation this is a pie depth so this is a pie foundations recommended for this particular you know project 
and then the depth is given here as 10 meters so this is the foundation depth so should in case you are designing for a story building or for a part foundations the geotech engineer will actually give you the depth you are going to anchor your part footing successfully a stable depth or a stable strata or a stable layers of the soil okay you will actually anchor your part footing it could be one meter it could be 1.2 meters it could be 1.5 meters it could be two meters sometime depending on the soil bearing capacity all right so now this is where you get your depth from so once you extract the depth from the geotech report just like this you get back to tecla structural designer where would you feed in this depth that is the question now we have gotten this depth for instance this uh, structure is just a a story building and it's a part footing and then we are giving we have been given a depth to be 1.5 meters for instance for our part footings where would we why where would we feed in this depth in tecla structural designer so now to do that, let's get back to Tecla Structural Designer and then we navigate right here. So over here in Tecla Structural Designer, you need to navigate to the Design tab right here to feed in the foundation depth. You have to navigate to Design tab right here and then go to the Settings provision. And then in this Settings uh, property window, you have to navigate to the Concrete options. In this concrete option navigate to the columns options and then in the columns drop down we see detailing settings select right there so now you can see the assumed foundations depth for starter bar you can see it is one meter this is a default assumption by tecla structural designer okay so if for instance you are given a depth of 1.5 meters in your geotech report you feed it in in this provision 1500 millimeters as your foundation depth all right so once you feed it in just like this you can see your kicker dimension is 75 millimeters okay these are based on the code of practice and the cut length round increment you are increasing your cut length with 25 millimeters you can also see your tile right here which you can select the different type of tile which you will use successfully so the same setting we add in the first concrete columns in terms of the foundation then in the same setting you also have in wall so if you come to the wall detailing you can see that for wall we have 1.2 at default so you can make changes maybe you have a kind of a you know a, a lift well all right a lift well so the foundation depth will be changed in this provision first all right and one thing you need to know is that you have to change your foundation depth before you carry out the analysis and design just as you have changed this foundation depth right here now to be 1500 uh, millimeters we click on the save option from here and click on the yes option from here and then you click on the okay from here now the foundation depth we have changed will not take effect all right because this project of us have already been analyze and design successfully so for instance if i select this particular column now right click and then i come to this provision of generate drawings i click on the ok options and this will generate this drawing in autocad just like this you will notice that the foundation depth have not taken effect so if i do a line and i try to do a line between the natural ground level and the base you can still see that we have within the range of 970 something and one meter which simply means this is one meter foundation depth okay so to make your changes take effect you have to get back to the class structural designer and then you can navigate to the structural view from here okay select in this provisions and navigate to the structural view right here just like this and then you have to navigate to the design tab and you come to the analysis and design use this design all static these options once you click on it you give the program some seconds to actually carry out the design of the old model so the old model has been analyzed and designed again now the foundation depth that we have set in these provisions in these provisions have taken effect now okay so how do you now confirm that if you navigate back to AutoCAD, select any of the reinforced concrete columns right here, right click, and then in the drop down menu, you use the generate drawing options, 
and then click on the OK from here. Here we go. Now you can see that this depth now is quite much than this particular depth. So if you try to also check the distance, I do line from here, from the normal ground level, I come down, you can see that I've already gotten 1.3. You can see from the info box right there, I've already got a 1.47. All right, so for the concrete cover, you have 1.5. So this has taken effect successfully. And this is how you can set your foundation depth successfully in Tecla Structural Designer. So you can also look at the detailed drawing that uh, Tecla Structural Designer has given us. You can see how standard this drawing is for the reinforced concrete columns. And this is the starter bar. And then you can see the starter bar length okay and then this is the sections of the columns and then you can also see the bar schedules the bar shaped you can see the bar total weight in kg right here all of this information is given by the class structural designer software and you can see how neat they are all right so now let's get back to the class structural designer and this is how you can carry out these settings successfully of your foundation depth okay now i know that you have actually learned one or two new things in this video do not forget to like like the video subscribe and share this video with our colleagues the young civil engineers in their groups share it so that they can learn and gain knowledge to be able to practice our profession our profession you know properly okay so i want to also invite you to join our our master class the pro user master class that is ongoing on tecla structural designer rotor structure and other software we teach on this channel so we have a master class for pro user okay you can join it also i'm inviting you to join our channel membership you can see the join button right there so once you click on the join button you follow the on-screen instruction you can join so that you have access to the in-depth you know video that explain most of these softwares that we use on our channel successfully okay we are going to be stopping here thank you for staying through this video stay connected to the next time we meet have a great day and bye for now